It's the Grim Lord here, and this is Grim's Visual Novel Corner. We're playing Slay the Princess, which is an EVN, actually. So, it's made here in the West by Scarlet Hollow. Something different I'm trying out. It's got a horror element, but it says it's a love story, but it's considered a psychological horror. So, we're going to go through it and just see what it's about. Chapter 1, The Hero and the Princess You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can't someone else do this? Forget it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Oh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I've always wanted to off a monarch. Viva la revolution. Silently continue to the cabin or turn around and leave. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean, maybe some people do. Nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? Hmm. Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Okay. Hmm. Unfortunately, you're the only one who can pull this off. I don't make the rules. I wish I did, but I don't. Don't mention it. It's all part of the job. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. <laughs> Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Proceed into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. I mean, you could strangle her, but I don't know if they want that to be this that this to be that kind of a game. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp. A hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hmm. It's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Oh shit, she's acting like a bitch too. You walk down the stairs. You lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? 
focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Then drop the knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Hmm. You ignore the trembling in your hands to tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best not to risk finding out what I can do. She's bluffing. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. I'm positive. I'm not. But we'll keep our eyes peeled. If she has a weapon, she'll have to draw it before she can use it. Hesitating? Why don't you drop the knife and the two of us can be civilized with each other? Then I'm not talking to you. I guess we are. For the love of everything, just slay her. <laughs> Or drop the blade. Do something. You stare at the princess, squinting fiercely. She squints back. The two of you are going to do this forever. <laughs> you have to blink eventually. Just make a choice. You charge the princess blade in hand. But unfortunately, your earlier suspicions proved correct. A blade of her own slips down her sleeve and catches you in the neck. Blood sprays from the cut, your severed carotid artery painting the princess with strokes of red. You better finish your task quickly before you run out of time. With the last bit of your will, you press forward, sinking the blade deep into the princess's heart. Oh. Two of you collapse on the floor together, rapidly bleeding out. Somehow, I thought this would turn out a little differently. But I wonder, do you really think that this was enough to stop me? It's like she's convinced she can't die. But you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark, and you die. The razor. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. Hmm. I can assure you that you didn't slay her and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very first time. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. This whole thing's a crock of shit. She's just going to pull it <laughs> off. I've had it nowhere. Stab us again. Stabbed to death. And you won't have to worry about that. The princess is unarmed. Yeah, that's exactly what you told us last time. When we asked you if you were sure she didn't have a weapon on her, you said you were positive she didn't. Turns out, she did, because when we charged her, she started stabbing us to death. Calm down, I assure you she has no weapons, so there's no reason to fear her. You were made for this job. You'll do just fine. Those are two very different questions, but fine, I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. We did exactly what you said. 
Sounds to me like you probably had some kind of elaborate nightmare. In which case, I should be held accountable for what supposedly happened. But congratulations, you've been given a chance to actually do this right. And I believe your other question was something along the lines of, Oh, what's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. We stabbed the princess, the princess stabbed us, and now everyone's right back to where they started. That sounds pretty consequence-free to me. Yes, but in this... <laughs> Shit. That begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world? Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Screw this. Who cares what happened to everyone else? She's not going to play fair, so we should do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. At least you know not to trust her, but you do realise that everything and everyone includes you, right? If you turn around and leave, you're dooming yourself as well as everyone else. She just caught us by surprise last time. She can't do that twice, so long as we're careful can win this. That's the spirit. Just keep that stiff upper lip and you'll save the world in no time at all. Hmm. Just be quick about it. Like I said, if she killed you, it was probably because you didn't listen to me. Don't talk to her, don't trust her, just go in, do your job and save the world. Oh, and don't get stabbed while you're at it. She just can, but she's still only a princess. You're fully up to the task you've been given, so long as you remember that. People locked her in that basement, and I told you what this place is. It's a path in the woods. Don't overcomplicate things. Look, <laughs> I'm not supposed to say this, but it's because you're special. You're the only person capable of doing this. Call it a prophecy, if that helps. But it's just the way things are. Oh, I didn't know we were special. Of course you're special. Why else would you be here? If anyone's special here, it's her. That was a nasty trick she pulled on us. I've told you everything you need to know. Going into more detail will just overcomplicate an otherwise very simple situation and make your job more difficult. You didn't tell us about her knife last time, though. Yep. That's because she's unarmed. And more than that, it's because there wasn't a last time. Great. Now, if you don't mind, the whole world is waiting with bated breath for you to save it from ruin. A warning. Before you go, and if she will lie, he couldn't be more on the money. But we're really doing this, aren't we? I'd say you're lost, but I'm stuck here with you. We know what to look out for this time. We know to be careful. Just stay focused, and you'll be fine. All right, let's go back into the cabin. The interior of the cabin is a jagged mess of warped wood and broken boards. Their splintered edges as uninviting as shattered glass. The only furniture of note is a pointed table with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Hmm. That's because there isn't a bit. There's a table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Can you two stop arguing? It's stressful enough in here without all this extra noise. I care less about that and more about whether we're being lied to. If he's willing to lie about something as innocuous as a mirror, what else is he hiding from us? I'm not lying to you. Use your eyes, there is no mirror. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would it even do? Notice it's the only nice looking thing in the entire cabin. Everything else looks pretty shitty except for the knife, of course, and the mirror. Very different. They 
maybe that's because you haven't actually been here. I hope this means you'll finally drop that ridiculous past life nonsense. You haven't died, and you certainly haven't been killed by the princess. So focus up. A lot's riding on this. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. It was there a second ago. Now it's gone. Yet another thing in here playing tricks on us. I hate this. without a weapon. You know she has one, right? Once again, I'd like to remind you that she's unarmed. But you're right, this will be a lot easier if you had the blade. I hope you know what you're doing. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing what must once have been stairs. The fractured slats look as if they'd been torn from their source and violently jammed into the wall. The air seeping up from below has an almost metallic quality to it, like the smell of fresh blood. And you can hear what sounds like the rhythmic scraping of metal coming from down below. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. That's right, scraping. I told you she has something, I told you. Her grating voice carries up the stairs. I hope you've come to rescue me. I've been stuck down here forever. There is something so wrong with that voice. <laughs> yeah, she thinks she's better than us. Like she doesn't even have to put on an act this time. As you descend the final step, the form of the princess comes into view, her sharp eyes following you from across the room. I wonder if she remembers us. Finally, somebody. Quick, get me out of these chains. We're not safe here. Come on now, we're not falling for that, are we? She's trying to trick us, but she can't hide that threatening edge to her voice. She just wants us to get close, to let our guard down. Exactly. She sounds threatening because her mask is already slipping. She knows why you're here. What are you waiting for? You are here to rescue me, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't stab you. I am just a sweet, innocent princess trapped here for no reason. Uh-huh. I don't know about that. There's some red pills in this, folks. I'm just a sweet, innocent princess. I won't do horrible things to you. And you are a brave knight who's supposed to walk up to not stabbing distance to help me. I have absolutely zero doubt <laughs> that she's going to stab us if we get close to her. She certainly feels threatening. Just because she's acting like she's going to stab you doesn't mean she has the means to actually do it. <laughs> Shit. But you know who has the capacity to quickly arm himself you do, so stop second guessing yourself, go upstairs, take the blade, and do your job. You're nervous. All the more reason to jump into the deep end and deal with her right now before you waste any more time getting stuck in your head. A knife? What are you talking about? I don't have a knife. Where would I keep a knife? And why would I stab you to death? I don't know you. You haven't given me a reason to stab you to death. It would be so silly of me to cut you open and look at your insides. Okay, I could have sworn we didn't mention stabbing anyone to death. Sounds like she's really out for blood. Fortunately for you, she isn't armed. It would be so much easier to prove that I do have a sharp object. I could just show it to you, but I don't have one, so I can't. The princess smiles as she pulls her hands from behind her back. But look at this! Hands! Hands that don't have anything in them to stab you with! Bullshit! 
It's like in her dress. The smile stretches into an even wider grin as she shakes her sleeves. Okay. And empty sleeves, too. Look at how few stuffing implements I have. It's practically zero. It's in the vagina. I said it. That's that's where it is. I've seen I've seen videos. I think she could do it. I've shown you all of my hiding spots. What kind of princess do you think I am? I would never hide something sharp somewhere secret. Wait. That sounds like a mine, but I'm actually not. My secret zones are for me, only they have nothing to do with you or my intention to not stab you to death the second you get close to me. Her smile drops for a moment, her expression sharp and flat. I assure you, there's nothing hidden there. <laughs> I can't believe her on that one. She seems serious. Of course, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't have something hidden somewhere. We know for a fact she's armed. That's so rude of you. Passing judgments on strangers you've never met just because they're different from you. How would you like it if I did that, huh? Silly little bird face thinks he's so serious coming down here but doesn't know anything. He doesn't even have a knife for stabbing. I bet you didn't like that, did you? I bet you didn't like being judged for no reason. How many more times does she have to vaguely threaten you before you finally <laughs> decide you're ready to deal with her? We're clearly still figuring out our angle. We don't have the luxury of watching this from a distance. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think I'm in a position of luxury? You're acting like you are. My entire world is at risk. Then maybe you should behave with a little more humility. A bit of self-deprecation would go a long way. No, I have my dignity. Fine, and we'll continue to treat you exactly how you deserve to be treated. Good lord. Oh man, there's a lot. things, which is why I think that's a great idea. I would love to not be chained up down here. Being chained up is so boring, and I crave fresh and new activities to broaden my horizons. Hmm. Please don't let her out of here. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually with him on this. Okay, but what if all of this is just a misunderstanding? There has to be room for this to be a misunderstanding. Hmm. Oh, oh, hold oh, on. Oh, this is made in Renpy. Okay. Do you remember what happened last time? Last time? If somebody came into my house and tried to kill me and I cut his neck open and then he stabbed me in the heart and we both died looking in each other's eyes, well, mm -hmm. surely I would remember that. But I don't remember it, so it must not have happened. There you go again, talking about delusions about a past life experience that clearly didn't happen. Ugh, it's like the two of you are working together on this. Aren't you listening to her? She's obviously lying through her teeth. I'm oh, terrible at spotting those, and even I can tell something's up here. We can't be the only ones that loop back to the start. Someone else has to remember. Huh? Yes, something is obviously up. We can all tell that she's lying. The thing she's lying about is how dangerous she is, not dimension hopping or time travel or whatever it is you think you're doing. Would I just lie? <laughs> Would I just lie to your face and tell you a thing I remembered happening didn't happen just so I could stab you again? I mean, just so I could stab you for the first time. Whoops. <laughs> she slipped up there. She said again, and her taking it back doesn't count. 
Do you hear how deranged you sound right now? Please stop dawdling. This is only going to end with violence. Postponing the inevitable is only going to make it worse for you when it actually happens. But we don't have anything to talk through. We're strangers and this place is cramped and annoying and you should just come over here and let me out. I think I've said my piece at this point. I think we all have. But if you want to keep exhausting your questions, it beats getting stabbed to death. Oh, you don't. Okay, I see. I have an idea. You should come over here and stare directly at the chains. You won't be able to find a key if you don't know what it's supposed to look like, so you better come right within close staring distance just to be sure. Okay, I'm bored now. She's bored? That's absurd. She doesn't get to be bored. <laughs> she doesn't get to be bored. In a sudden burst of movement, the princess leaps towards you, a blade erupting from her free arm, her wrist limp and empty from the violent expulsion. Huh. So I guess she did have a knife of her own after all. How conciliatory of you. We appreciate it, really. Now what are we going to do? At least we're safe here. She's still in chains. And those chains stop her from continuing her advance, at least for a moment. She looks down at them with something between annoyance and confusion. Then she slices from her Shit. Okay, maybe we aren't safe here. She doesn't even hesitate before darting towards you with a terrifying speed you can't hope to outpace. That won't stop us from trying. Run, 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 run. Sprint for the stairs, but... I wasn't exactly exaggerating when I said she was running at you with a terrifying speed. You couldn't hope to outpace. We don't make it, do we? You feel her blade in your back before you make it to the first side. I'm going to kill you now. With a squelch, she does just that. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 3, No Way Out. Go on a path in the woods. No. What? The interior of the cabin is sharp, a constricting mess of curved and battered sheet metal pushing you towards... Wait, excuse me? What just happened? What did you just do? I feel dizzy. Ho 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 ho! ho. I guess I took us to the cabin, didn't I? Isn't that interesting? Who holds the cards now? Nobody. Nobody holds the cards. That's how it's always been. That's unfortunately how reality works. Who cares about cards? You're all acting like this is about winning and losing, while this is actually about having fun. Is this fun for you? It's not fun for me. I don't like being sliced to pieces. Great, so obviously you've already been here. How many times? This is our third? No wonder things have fallen apart. You do realize that every time you fail, she escapes and an entire world is down to destruction, right? That can't be right, that's too much responsibility. I couldn't agree more. We couldn't be trusted with the fate of a single person, let alone the fate of the world. <sighs> Let's just stay focused, shall we? The only furniture of note is a bent metal table a pristine blade perched, and we take it. Okay, sure, you take the blade before letting her finish telling you what's there. <laughs> it would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. And then, we throw it out the window! What? That blade is the only edge we have! We are not! Too late, because we already did it, didn't we? Fortunately for the rest of you, me, and for the sake of the world, yes. That is horribly unfair. He shouldn't be allowed to just do things like that. You were the one who made us pick it up. See? You're not the only one who can figure out how to do things. What's done is done. I suggest you make the best of it. You're all so mad at each other. I'm just going to sit here quietly in the corner. You can be the ones to figure out what to do. So? Are you just going to stand there, or are you going to head to the basement like you're supposed to? I'd love to get started just as much as you would, but how are we supposed to get down there? You walk through the door. You do know what the doors are. Right? But there isn't a door, it's just that mirror again. It isn't a mirror. You really messed things up, didn't you? It's like you can't even see reality anymore. You make your way to the door at the end of the room, stopping just in front of it. You really must think you're looking at a mirror. Well, it doesn't exist. Just reach forward and open it. Let's just move it out of the way without looking. I don't want to see us. I'm sure we all look awful after dying twice. 
Let's just fumble for the handle and be done with it. I don't care what we look like. I care about getting to the end of this mess. Oh. Reach forward and place your hand on the door to the basement. It creaks open. And the mirror's gone. How surprising. I can't say I was particularly invested in looking at it before, but now, now I really want to see what's in it. If it's so keen on hiding from us, whatever it has must be real good. Guess it's time for us to see her again. Just stay focused and you'll be fine. You step forward, but you don't get a chance to linger on the basement stairs. They are smooth and flat and metallic. An unintentional and unfortunately slippery ramp that quickly sends you skittering to the bottom. As your body tumbles onto the basement landing, the form of the princess comes into view, wryly smiling at you from a distance. Hi. It looks like you don't have a way out, so I'm not going to play dumb anymore. And you still don't have a weapon. That's funny! That's a joke! I'm going to kill you now! Yes, that was extremely silly of whoever did that. <laughs> a bad idea. That was you! I'm just trying to add some levity to this. Well, since all of this was your idea, how about you figure out how to get us out of it? Oh, guys like us don't get to make any decisions. You should know that. I decided to pick up that blade, and you decided to throw it out the window. This is why we've already lost. Can't even stop bickering with ourselves. How are we supposed to beat her without a weapon? She's so sharp. Your internal bickering is cut short by the wet sound of slicing meat. From the princess's arms erupt twin blades, glistening with her blood, the empty flesh of her arms flopping at her elbows like torn sleeves. The chain clatters to the floor. You're going to make me walk over to you, aren't you? Alright, I'm out of ideas. What are we doing? What? I'm going to go with not letting her stab us. Gonna try flirting with her? She has swords for arms and we don't, we're panicking. Step up her she, she can't hurt ourselves if we don't let ourselves feel it. How many times have we died? Yes. That. Oh, I've lost count, to be honest. I haven't. It's four. No wonder everything's such a mess. This wasn't supposed to go past one. I wonder what you're going to do next. You're so full of ideas, and I love that. Well, I guess we don't have time to talk about things before the princess advances. Okay. Whatever we do gets us another... us. Let's see how many we can stand. There's got to be a point where it makes us better than her. Come on! Show me something new! Okay. Plan. Now. Again and again and again, your memory voids, your conscience leaps from life to life to life, holding only snippets of the conflict that transpires. Just keep dodging, just keep dodging, just keep dodging. Excuse you. 
What's the point of avoiding me if you're not going to fight? Doesn't matter how many times this takes, we can't give up. We don't even have a weapon. Yeah, some clod threw it out the window. Again, that was you. No, I was just the clod who suggested it. And if I knew we'd be stuck here forever, I wouldn't have done that. Just panic. Flee. Excuse you. No, you don't get to escape. That's not how this works. See? We lasted a little longer. Barely. She's going to kill this body either way. So stop feeling what it feels. Excuse you. Ooh, not bad. Real tough. We're getting close to something. Can't you feel it? One last time. Fine. One last time. Let's appeal to her better nature. Never yeah, tried that. I'm sure she'll listen to reason. Excuse you. And then everything goes dark. And you die. <laughs> wow. Don't lose your head. We're in a cabin. Take it from here. Your steel claw, though. Was tossing it the only thing we've done that was broke? That's a sick joke, universe. A sick, sick joke. If it's gone for good, then maybe we never actually needed it. That's what I've been telling you. We can do this without it. We're tougher than steel. Yeah, mind of the matter. Who needs violence when you have Who needs love when you've mastered yourself? Who needs anything that we don't need? Well, boys, are we ready? There are entirely too many of you. How many times have you been here? This isn't good. This is... Yeah. Leave it to the pros. Narrator, we heroically strive through the door and towards our destined final encounter with our star-crossed lover. Fine by me. We walk to the door and onto the basement stairs, only... It's fine. I'll just shut up then and speed this whole thing along. Are you sure you don't want me to describe the stairs? Or this room or anything? It feels like I'm hardly a part of this. Don't care. Just want to see how this ends. Fine. Make your way to the basement, where the princess will get you. You know, this last time I killed you, and you didn't pop right back up again? I thought I'd actually done it. I thought I'd cut you into so many pieces, you just weren't able to stitch yourself back together. But I guess we're not done. That's okay with me. It's good even. I like that. I got something ready for you while you were gone. Do you want to see it? I'm not going to wait for an answer. I'm just going to show you. It's worth it though. Just you wait. And not for very long. Because I'm going to do it right now. Do, do, are you going to say what she does? Uh, oh, do, do you want me to talk to her? Well, yeah, she says she has something new. I want to hear about the new thing. Yeah, me too. I think I speak for all of us when I say that I would like to hear you describe her new thing. Really? Okay then. Here we go. Now. The princess's skin twists, splitting into red blooms of raw meat as it stretches and tears. Then it erupts. A wave of blood and viscera, pieces of her splattering against the walls. All that remains in the center of the room is a skeleton of blades. A heart beats furiously in its cage of a chest. Are you ready for what comes next? Holy shit! She's gorgeous. Absolutely divine. Yes! Behold the perfect woman. Do you think we can throw? Her up. That looked painful. How is she still alive? Hearts still beating. That's all she needs. This is fake. This is all fake. That's all just made up. I'd say we bow down to her right now if that ever even slightly worked for us. This is all just a sick joke. I hate existing. We screwed. I, I quit. I'm done. Again. What just happened? It's so quiet. Something feels different about you. It almost makes me feel different. Like I should actually take this seriously for once. 
You do not act as the princess approaches, instead allowing her to crash against your form, and yet there is seemingly nothing for her to crash against. Again and again she swings at you, but there never really was a you to swing at. This worked before. I was able to make you dead before. She swings again, and this time she hits something, or something hits her. She looks down in confused terror as her arm bends and folds in upon itself. She hurls herself at you, but as she does, her metal body bends outward, the very contact with what you are repelling her to the point of destruction. The din of shrieking metal subsides, and something small and delicate falls into your hand. It's her heart. It beats gently, calmly in your palm. Not another word is spoken. Something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her place. You do so. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It's quiet here. You are at the cabin. Something finds me in the low quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What, what the fuck is happening? I think this is a good place to stop it, because I have no intention of showing the entire game. But you can pick it up at Steam and GOG for not that much money. It's 10 gigs, though. So there's a lot of shit that must happen here for the game to be that large. At any rate, this is the Grim Lord, and I will see you next time on Grim's Visual Novel Corner with another great visual novel.